Hi fellas, Nice back here again and today I've got another inbox review for you and today we're going to look at a brand new release by Flyhawk. Well, I don't say brand new, it's been out quite a while. So this is the SBD2 uh, Dauntless, okay, in one seventy second scale. Um, these kits, uh, I'll say they do it, Flyhawk do uh, boats and ships mainly. So these are really, really new for uh fly hope and this one is the upgrade edition so i think it comes with some extras which we'll look at when we get into the box okay so without further ado let's go to the other end so like i said these are a fairly new uh manufacturer we aircraft okay and this is the instruction manual and as you can see it's one sheet that folds out and then it's got the color call out so We'll start on, on this part here. Okay, so then we've got the, the sprue map, uh, some bits and pieces, we've got some uh, masks there, the decals, okay. Uh, this comes with some resin bits and pieces and some other interesting things. So, the this is the rear of the actual uh, cockpit. Okay, so you can see we've got the cockpit floor. We've got the uh, pilot seat, the gunner's seat, and there's the gun, okay. Uh, we have, I don't know what that is, why that's replicating that, unless it's just the, oh, there we are. Yeah, it's just the different parts, okay. So a little bit confusing, but no mind, okay. We then move on to the two fuselage sides, and you have got the, uh, parts there i can't see any call outs though for, for color any color call outs okay unless it's that's on one of the other sheets we've then got the radios and the instrument panel going in into the aircraft uh, the fuselage is going to join some more aerial uh, uh, radio aerials We've got the wings going on to the lower wings before we then move on to putting the engines in and the cowling and the prop on there. Moving on to the undercarriage and the, the bomb for this aircraft. We've then got the air brakes. So this is what allows this aircraft to be a really effective dive bomber. We've then got the colors in the actual name of the colours, Japanese and Chinese, by looks for it, Mr. Hobby, and uh, so that would be Aquarius, and I'm assuming that will be Mr. Colour, but I'm not certain. Then you've got Tamiya, and then you've got the colour call-outs for the uh, interior, okay? So that's the first part. So I'll just put that one over there, not over there. And then we've got this second part, oops, which is the three markings. Okay, so we've got USS Enterprise Air Group uh, Pearl Harbor 1941. Uh, we've got the USS Lexington uh, for the Battle of the Coral Sea 1942. And we've got the US, uh, USS Yorktown the Battle of uh, Coral Sea, May 1942. And then right at the bottom, we've got the canopy mass, and it actually gives you the mass for the tail, so you can get uh, this effect on the tail there. Okay, so that's the instructions. Very short, very sweet, uh, very confusing, to say the least. You also get this lovely, great big poster, okay? So that's just a poster of the box art. That's actually really nice. So what about uh, A2 size? Okay. So we then move on to the plastic parts. Okay. Uh, some of these I can open up. Uh, some of them we'll have to look through the, the actual bags. So this is the first one. Okay, so we've got our fuselage, our tail, bomb uh, and, other, and the engine okay so we can actually see and just running my fingers on it i don't know i hope you can see that but it's got some really really fine recess detail 
it's got some lovely raised rivets all on these panels okay same on that side and on the tail yeah all raised with the recessed parts we've then got the the tail exactly the same Re recessed rivets with lovely i don't know if you can hear it raised rivet detail and the actual um control surface which were fabric we then move on to the engine so that's really really nice really really fine detail on there we've got the inside of the cockpit and we can see some injection pin marks but i'm assuming that we've got side panels that will go onto there we've got them on the both sides uh at the rear and the forward cockpit so they would need dealing with but i get those parts see whether they fit see whether they cover it up next up we have the the upper and lower wings if i can get, actually get it out okay so we've got like i said the the lower wings with the wheel wells and again some really nice detail all this detail okay on there is actually really really fine raised rivet lines and recess panel lines okay so and the wheel wells no no detail in there whatsoever and then we've got exactly the same on the upper surface so all raised rivets okay with recessed panel lines so really really nice detail all over hopefully you can just see some of that in there next up we have the parts of the actual cockpit so again we have some nice floor detail on the uh cockpit floor we've got some nice detail on the actual canopy uh, the canopy the control panel the radio parts some parts for the engine and again looks really really nice we then got the propeller and unfortunately i think this is due to packaging uh, the propeller is a little bit bent okay uh, that should be easy enough to straighten out you've got the air brakes with some nice detail on there okay you can see how they've packaged it where it's raised and then they've just left it sort of put a cage around it to protect it we then have the engine Howling, which again has got some really nice recess detail on there. Okay, we've got the uh, the cannons on there. Again, really nice little sprue. Some more of the air brakes system. Okay, so again, all drilled out. You don't have to not just recessed like some are but all drilled out so yeah really nice we've then got the clear parts and you get a, a fully closed version or a open version okay uh what is it it's interesting just bear with me two seconds. So let's have a look at the canopy, shall we? Right, I see. you have got all oh, right that's where it is okay so you do have uh the two two options okay 
but you what you'll get that's your your front and then you've got that bit there and that bit that uh the obviously they can have it open and then that's the rear bit for the the, the rear gun oh that's sorry that that's the windshield that's the rear bit for the rear gun looking at things okay so i'm not too familiar with this aircraft we then have some resin wheels okay so we've got two types okay so we've got once the very nice okay and then we've got the others okay let's have a look at the back side so no tail wheel okay uh, but you get the two two different types of, of wheels in there okay very nice indeed okay nice little to have in there pull them back in a moment next up we get this now this is just a bit gimmicky really okay so it's just a post-it note and if you have a look you can see how they've got the ships it flew from in on that so yeah that's a nice touch i suppose but again that's a little bit gimmicky i'll just put that in there next up we have got the decals and uh the mask like i said so we'll just take these out the best we can so the mask sets okay so like i say you have the canopy and then you've got these bits for uh the the stripes for the tail which is quite nice it's really nice that you've got that. and there's actually i reckon there's probably more there than what you need one two three four five six yeah, I think there's more there than what you actually need, if I'm brutally honest. Okay. But yeah, it's nice to, to have that. And then we've got the decals. Okay. Uh, they look quite nice. Slightly the, the carrier film is slightly on the skew. Okay. So you've got to be careful. You're going to be quite close. Uh, but again, I don't know anything about these these decals. Uh, they're very, very matte and they are super, super thin. Okay. So that's Flyhawk's uh, Dauntless. Uh, for me, a little bit of a, a mixed bag. The kit looks itself looks fantastic. Uh, the resin wheels look very basic. Uh, for for as well there's some nice detail on the uh, on the back side of them where they actually attach to the undercarriage leg the instructions uh i've never seen any instructions like that before okay where they've done the color code separately and the the instructions are quite busy to you to say the least um but that being said everything's there that you need to be able to build the aircraft okay uh, nice touch with the mass set for the for the tail that really is uh, a nice touch but like i said and there's decals for it as well so uh you know a, a very nice touch so that being said uh it looks like it could be a, a really nice kit i'd like to see what they could do in uh in 48th or bigger but time will tell whether they will fetch anything out in those scales they might just stick to uh, 72nd and obviously their ship uh, built, their ship models. So that's it. An okay kit, I suppose. All right, so I, I will see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.